tip and trick for you, Slick? Okay. You folks get on each other. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop in with this. Ready? No, 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 no. Welcome back! <coughs> Today, you are going to build on your Vex IQ base model to make this guy. You're going to take your controller and you're going to program it to control your robot. And then you are going to compete in the 2017 annual, except not annual, ultimate ping, ping pong soccer battle. But first, let's take a look <laughs> at the skill you'll get by doing this. <laughs> You're gonna grab your Vex IQ. <laughs> you're gonna grab your Vex IQ Super Kit. Super Kit. And you're gonna super. pull out your base model, which does not look. Like, it'll look like a base model. So you. So remember that thing that we built in the last tutorial? Yeah. Just take that business off. We don't take need it, it anymore. On your desktop, there should be a file called Slick or something, and that's the build instructions. Slick. So you're gonna click on that file and then scroll down until you see part two, and just build from there until you have Slick. Slick. It is I, Greta. Uh, Love to get the remote cam. The first tip or trick, depending on your perspective, is one on this part. <laughs> um, so right here, when you're building this part of your robot, and it calls for like a 45 degree angle piece, which looks like this. But you're like, oh wait, I may have run out of them. You can use any of the three types of angle pieces to build, to attach here, because that you won't, they're not useful at all, they're just for decoration. They're just little feeders. Um, just make sure that that's the only one where you substitute different angles, because if you do it for like here, then so, that. So in terms of substituting idea. angle bracket beams, this would be the only place to do that. Pro tip, here's a secret from the masters. I always have a YouTube video playing in the background while I build. You don't have to do it, but I, I do it, and I recommend one of your favorite YouTubers. I watch Dan and Phil videos whenever I do anything. So, the next trick for your slick, ooh, TM, trademark, <laughs> is getting the radio modules in. So radio modules look like this. They basically, you can put one in your brain and one in your controller, and it links them so they can connect wirelessly. Boom! So you're going to put it in like this, and then push it in. All the way until all you see is 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, and so now you're going to take your other radio module for all mm -hmm. the people out there at home. <laughs> now you're going to make sure the battery's out of your brain. And so you're gonna see that there's this little red flap here, and you're like, what, I can't, I can't push it in when there's that red thing. But there's a little red button, if I can find it, and then you press that in and it presses this little red flap in. So, pr so press the button, it press it down it. all the way. Okay, and then same thing, you just want to press it in until all you see is the 2.4 gigahertz. So now I'm going to show you how to link the robot brain and the controller only. After you link them, you can program both the robot and the controller and you can drive them around town. Yeah, you basically need a robot battery. Um, you know, we probably took it out to put the radio module in. Now you're gonna put it right back in there. Ain't that the best thing ever? You are going to ensure that both your robot brain and the controller are off. The controller is a light. If the top light is off, that means it's off. Um, and so now you're going to take your tether cable and there's a little port on your robot brain that says tether. So, you know, plug that in there. That's how world work. So now you're going to plug them into each other. And so now you're going to turn the robot brain on, which I just did, which turns both of them on. How handy is that? I'm not sure, we're just like looking at someone's code. Um, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> you, you should see a little thing that looks like a plug and on like on the top mm -hmm. thing next to your battery. And if you have that, and you should, like there's no reason why you shouldn't have that. And then if you do, unplug both of them, but leave them both on. And so now you should see... Okay, no, you don't need to zoom in that part. And now you should see four little bars in the top right where that plug symbol used to be. That's when you can get started on your coding and then drive Here, it I'll around put it, I'll put it wirelessly. It. How fun is that? Here, I'll now, it's time, now it's time to program your Vex IQ controller to control. 
Let's open the kit. You know the drill. So, okay, so it's important to know that there are two, nope, that's four, two ways to control your Vex IQ robot with the controller. Actually, any robot. Arcade drive and tank drive. Arcade drive is where you use one stick on your controller to control the direction your entire robot goes. Like, if I push this stick forward, the whole robot will go forward, and if I turn it backwards, the whole robot will. <laughs> and tank drive is where you use two sticks on your controller. The left stick controlling the left side of your robot and the right one controlling the right side. And so if you, you can push both of them forward to go forward or both of them backwards to go backwards, then you turn one forward and one backwards to turn and do it on the other direction. Alrighty, so for arcade drive it's actually pretty simple. Uh, from the hardware list, you're going to drag over your drivetrain and then assign ports uh, like you did in the last video. Then, you're going to drag over the controller. And now, if you go over to the drivetrain again, um, you can see that a controller icon has actually popped up. But first, you should name your project and save it and not be like Parker who doesn't save anything until the end ever. Um, it's just a really good idea to save your work at the beginning and then as you go. So, controller icon has popped up. Click on it and oh my god, that's a lot of options, but fear not. All we have to do is look at one stick on our controller because we're doing arcade drive. Um, you can see that A controls the forward and backward for our left stick, and B uh, controls the left and right for our left stick. And the same goes for D and C for the right stick. They each control an axis, you could say. Okay, so now you're gonna pick the stick that you want to use. Um, I pick left stick, I don't know why really, but I'm only concerned with A and B because I picked left stick. Okay, and then this next part is really hard. Are you ready? You're gonna click on A, and then click on drive forward slash reverse, and then click B and select turn left slash right. Mind blown. But seriously, that's, that's it. Okay, and so real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do tank drive. For tank drive, we're gonna need both sticks, one to control each side of your robot. So all you're gonna do is you're going to set A to L drive, left drive, forward slash reverse, and D to R drive or right drive, forward slash reverse. <laughs> um, and you make sure everything else says none, and that's it, because we just want the left stick to control the forward and backward for the left side of our robot, and the R stick, the right stick, to control the forward and reverse for the right side of our robot, so that one side controls each side of the robot. It's uh, pretty cool. So, when you're ready to upload the code to Slick, just plug it into the computer and turn it on, and then you're gonna just connect your controller to the bot using your blue cable. Um, you should be all set, uh, just select the slot you want it to download to, then hit download, booyah! <laughs> okay, FYI, um, to pair your bot and the controller, just turn on your bot and the controller and wait until they're paired. robots in the battle, but if nobody else is ready, you can fly solo on this one. It's cool. You have two minutes to get as many ping pong balls through your roll as you can using the slickster. Okay, go. Okay, get going. Good luck, novice. Are you patronizing them? <laughs> no. Is that a Can I put on a different YouTube video now? Mm -hmm. Coming soon! To theater here! Makey makey!